Hello, I'm the X Toy Cat, and welcome back to an episode of my Minecraft Xbox Update Adventures Let's Play. This is a Let's Play where I've been playing through the various updates that have come out for Minecraft on the console. Building stuff, killing stuff, and of course, destroying stuff. And today, I'm going to be working on something that a lot of people seem to be somewhat supportive of and like the idea of. So I figured, yeah, let's go ahead and do it, because it is the gold farm. So yeah, you might have seen the gold farm appear in a couple of videos this past week, because I've been doing more videos in the survival world. And uh, yeah, basically the gold farm is something I want to work on today, because it is a source of one of the most valuable resources in Minecraft. Admittedly, it's a very, very slow source of that. But today, I'm going to be making a start on making it a better source, because yeah, uh, basically when I first started this gold farm, uh, the bigger portals weren't a thing. So you had to build these tiny ones, but now we can build bigger. And although that's not going to come up in today's build, I think at some point we might have a giant portal on top of all of that. And yeah, basically, uh, more portals, more fun, more better. So yeah, let's use our obsidian. Let's use our neverack because I'm also working on, uh, I, I don't know if you know this, but I'm also working on this giant neverack cube that goes around it. And uh, yeah, I'm just going to be slowly getting this thing expanded a little bit. Because the cool thing about a gold farm is that even if you make it, yeah, I, I, this is true for anything, if you make it like, 10% better, then guess what? 10% more gold, and gold is super valuable, you know? I, one day I'll have enough gold to just be able to make golden carrots, which would be great, because uh, if you ever watch, if you ever see me, uh, you know, make videos in creative, uh, well, you know, in my creative world, because I have access to anything, I always use golden carrots. They're just the best food, and uh, yeah, basically it'd be nice to use those in survival too. So, uh, yeah, that's that's like the long-term goal of this, but, you know, there's much bigger ones even off past that. You can be like, okay, so once you've, uh, you know, got golden carrots and enough that you'll never need more, then you've got to move on to like, okay, well, the next Next step was probably be then, what would that be, like, uh, you know, make make enough gold to get beacons. There's so many cool parts of this gold farm, and that's what I'm going to be working on today. So, yeah, just in case you're curious as to hold the mechanisms, basically, we have, uh, you know, lots of portals. Those portals have trapdoors, so zombie so pigmen, uh, they're not smart enough to realize they shouldn't walk down. So they walk down anyway, and then they fall, and then I kill them with my fist. I get XP, and I get gold. It's, it's wonderful, and, uh, yeah, basically, the way what we have to do today is build a lot of never portals, which is something that's relatively easy. So while we do that, I wanted to actually respond. Uh, by the way, uh, before anything else, I am slightly ill today. Uh, I record these a little bit ahead of time, so it's probably better now, so... Uh, or I could, it could be significantly worse, but let's assume it's probably better now, uh, and uh, therefore, uh, you know, it, to anyone who's, uh, you know, says the nice things, like, it's gonna get better, it, it probably has, so good news, but yeah, uh, basically, uh, like I was saying, um, uh, so, yeah, if it, my voice might be a little bit off, but, like, it's entirely fine, just, just pretend that I'm, like, holding my nose, like, oh, yeah, there's a really bad smell over there, and actually... Uh, Cookie has done done some bad smells quite nearby. So yeah, I'm just holding my nose today. That's the official story. And uh, let's move on from that to uh, the the other uh, thing from the comments. Because I mentioned a lot of comments were really supportive of the idea of me making uh, you know the gold farm again. Because this is one of my favorite projects because it's ambitious and no one can argue it's pointless. Because again, everybody everybody wants gold for something. Whether you want gold for you know golden carrots like me, whether you want gold for powered rails, you, you need gold for something. It's just a, a cool little fact of the way uh, Minecraft works. So uh, yeah. Basically, Basically, let's just <laughs> spam these blocks, shall we? But yeah, uh, basically, um, everyone needs gold, and that's kind of nice. Uh, but yeah, the other the other comment I got a lot of was uh, people saying stuff about Calzone, and I was surprised by how many people had never heard of Calzone or Calzone. I don't. I, I feel like it must be Calzone, but Calzone just seems a bit more correct. But yeah, uh, basically, a lot of people hadn't heard of Calzone, and I figured, wow, that's that's something we need to change right now. So if you've never heard of Calzone or you've never tried Calzone whichever works better, uh, buy, buy yourself right now, like, a pizza, it doesn't even have to be a good pizza, like, you know, like, a relatively cheap pizza, my favorite, like, frozen pizza that you can cook yourself, uh, pro tip if you live in the UK, is I think, uh, Iceland, so, Iceland, then, they're, they're known for selling frozen goods, the, the quality of their stuff you can argue about, but their frozen pizzas are, like, way better than any other supermarkets, so, yeah, go to Iceland, get yourself, a. You know, like a, a one pound fifty. P you, you can even use the one pound ones. I use those, but you know, the one pound fifty pizzas. It's like a, a really good uh, increase. And then fold it in half and make yourself one of the best. Yeah, because again, everybody loves pizza, right? Like, if you don't like pizza, you can at least admit that you're weird or not weird, but you're different for not liking pizza. I mean, it's also weird. Let's be honest. But <laughs> yeah, if, if you don't like pizza, you can at least admit you're weird for not liking pizza. And uh, therefore, you know, calzone is just double the goodness. Sometimes you get issues, like it'll stick on one side, but in general, all good stuff. So yeah, that's. <laughs> That's the response to last week's comments, uh, all out of the way. Uh, I, I, like I said, I do like to read those, because generally speaking, the people who watch the Let's Play are like the, uh, I guess the, the more dedicated, but also just the, the nicer subscribers on this channel. So, figured I should let you know that, yeah, I do read that. And also, now that YouTube has a pinning feature, I'll be pinning comments in the future. Uh, I, my, my comment section actually doesn't, doesn't let me show you that, but I'll, I'll be doing that more. So, yeah, it's, it's, it's going to be my way of saying, yeah, I saw your comment. I didn't necessarily respond to it, but it's a good one, and it should show up before everyone else's. So, again, 
Uh, just trying to make the the quality of discussion on YouTube better is always going to be a hard thing to do. But that's that's what we'll do right there. So uh, yeah, besides just uh, YouTube and YouTube comments, and you know, I could talk about YouTube comments all day, I'm sure. Which is actually, I'm pretty sure what live streams are about. So maybe it's <laughs> maybe it is less necessary here. Like, oh, let's just respond to comments like they're they're live or something. That what a crazy idea. But yeah, like I was saying before that. Um, also, we just placed that wrong. Oh. <laughs> I was like, oh, yeah, that'll totally go there. Wait a minute. No. Nope. But uh, yeah, like I was saying before that, um, there was another thing that uh, I've, I've been, that's been on my mind this week. And it is to do with, like, I guess being a better person. Because I personally, at least, uh, I, I I aspire to be a better person than I was. Uh, yeah, you know, uh, if, if, you, if, you, if, you, if you get... If, so I, I would like to be the perfect, you know, the perfect version of me that I could be. That's That, that should be true for everyone. Like, no one's like, ah, actually, yeah, I, I don't really like perfection. If it, if it was my choice, I'd be, like, solidly, uh, like, what, B- minus or something. That, no, no one... I, I hope no one's thinking that. But, yeah, like, that's that's not a real thought, right? But, uh, yeah, every now and then, uh, like, oh. We, we are getting a lot of gold just while doing this. Like, we haven't actually set up any portals. Oh, yeah, we have. We've set up a lot of portals. But <laughs> we've also been getting a lot of gold, so that's that's kind of nice. So let's just actually walk over there. It won't work properly. So maybe it's not... Yeah, it's probably not worth doing because we don't have the trapdoors. So we'll go back inside and we'll get some trapdoors. But first, let's uh, jump down there and let's kill those uh, gold things. So, uh, yeah, I aspire to be a, a better person. I think that's a, a good goal. I, I sometimes wonder if that is just me or if it has it a more common thing. Because, again, like, there are so many things where it's like, ah... Uh, we, do, we all do this thing that we all know is silly. Why, why do we do it that way? But let's try and land on this ladder. Perfect. Um, <laughs> and now we got some zombie to kill. So, yeah, this isn't a perfect farm because they should die in one hit. But because I've it's, like, improperly done. Or maybe it changed with an update. It takes, I think, it's two critical hits to kill them. Yeah, uh, one critical and... I think it might be three hits if it's not. Yeah, three hits to kill them otherwise, which is actually pretty bad. So, let's... Uh, it, again, it's not a problem because they're on ice anyway, so they can't actually attack me. But it's... You know, it takes more hits and therefore more time they'd like. So at some point, I have to lower this entire glass, uh, this entire ice floor too. Although, you know, ice and glass, they're pretty similar if you really think about it. So yeah, let's throw our stuff in there and let's go get some more resources. Because although, actually, let's use the Neverack first because yeah, we might as well, right? So I guess we'll use it on that wall in the corner there. Yeah, why not? Let's let's do it. Yeah, like I was saying, um, <laughs> always, always getting distracted. But I guess that's just a part of the... Uh, how how I, I do the things here, but uh, yeah, basically, um, what, what, one of the things that uh, I, I heard recently, uh, I, I think someone made a joke in response to something I said on, like, Q&A maybe, but uh, basically, uh, you know, it's like, how do you test the dictionary? How, how do you know if words, like, misspelled in the dictionary? And it's like, ah, that's a good one. I, I was almost going to use this an outro joke. But the funny thing is, is you actually, uh, the, the, the way dictionaries work is kind of a crazy system, because basically, um, you know, I, I've said this before, and it's one of the most amazing facts, so I'll say it again, but uh, English is a descriptive language. There are two types of languages, as far as I know, like, I guess there's more, but there, there's two key types of languages when it comes to, you know, language and linguistics. There's languages which are descriptive, and there are languages which are prescriptive. Because English is a descriptive language, all dictionaries are doing, you know, they have no authority. They're just like a, you know, they're just a paper copy of what we're saying all the time. So, yeah, that's, that's, that's cool by itself, because, like, oh... The, the dictionary doesn't control me, I control the dictionary. If, like I said, you know, I, again, I think this was a QA and a session. I was like, ah, yeah, if we all just make llamification a word, or llamatastic, I think it was, then uh, it becomes a real world. And that's true. If enough people use a word, it becomes real. Because all the dictionary's job is to do is to work out what words people are using and to make those a real thing. But the cool thing about, you know, like checking words in the dictionary to see if they're real is that... Um, this is actually a thing lots of dictionaries would do to each other. They would intentionally put words misspelled or wrong in the dictionary, which sounds really ridiculous. So we need wood. I actually got quite a bit. Let's let's make some trapdoors. Uh, so yeah, it sounds ridiculous, like in hindsight, right? So is this is this a trapdoor? That is a trapdoor. So let's just make a bunch of those, I guess. Um, but it, it sounds ridiculous when you just say like, oh yeah, dictionaries would just spell words wrong because of reasons. Um, it, it does sound really ridiculous when you say it like that. But the truth behind it, so you know, it's the never now. Uh, the truth behind it is they could actually use it to like spot fakes in other dictionaries, I believe. Which is it's just one of those really cool facts that ah. What, how do you know if you spot a word that's misspelled in the dictionary? One, you have no idea if it is or not. And to some extent, even though oh jeez. Even though the dictionary is not meant to control you, it kind of does in that way, which is 
why English is, uh, I guess why any language is, is super bizarre when you really get into it. But uh, also, I, I really have to kill this thing, but it just won't die. <laughs> uh, by the way, but I, I've been I've been trying to get better at like hitting gas fireballs back at gas, but I think it might be like a console exclusive like error where it doesn't probably work because I always always run into issues. But yeah, what we're gonna do now right now is get a bunch of Neverack because I need it for the um, that thing I was just mentioning. And the cool thing about this pickaxe right here, it's. Uh, it's the Nightcap V5. The, the, the cool thing about my pickaxe is that it, because it has efficiency 5, if you uh, break any block faster than 0 0.05 seconds, I think it is, it breaks instantly. Like, there's no delay between blocks, which is really cool, again, for stuff like this, because it means that my pickaxe, now I can repair it super fast, and especially my mining quartz too, I basically have a way of breaking Neverack at some ridiculous rate per second. Like, I've got a stack and a half just from that little exercise there. And that, you, you can just see, if you, if you really, really, like, you know, spin your controller like that, I know it's kind of hard to look at, but if you spin your controller like that, let's say, you can just see how fast the bits are lining up. And it's, it's pretty cool if you ask me. So, yeah, we're going to go around, grab the rest of these now. Uh, so, let's take in all of that. And let's see how much we gain from just that, those few seconds. I had a stack and a half before, and now I have <laughs> four stacks. So, yeah, you can see uh, there are some insane techniques. And I'm going to use these combined with all the Never Courts, because I reset my Never like a year ago and haven't mined the courts yet. I'm gonna use this with the never courts to basically just get me all the uh, never I needed. Because again, uh, so I, I I really wanna complete a lot of the projects that have just been like kind of half done. And I figure the best way to get some of the resources that I've been avoiding is just to have this, you know, ridiculous pickaxe and be like, yeah, let's just use it for never It's kind of wasteful because you can actually see, okay, so while I'm doing this, look at my pickaxe durability and not the rest of the screen. You can actually like vaguely see it go down as I do this, which is insane. You know, a, 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 I'm breaking four pickaxe. The most solid pickaxe you can get in the game, it will still break this fast, but uh, it's also kind of a cool thing at the same time. So yeah, I'm gonna be a little bit wasteful to be fast, to get projects done, because I, w I wanna like have more things finished, because I love the feeling of having having done something. Like, uh, that. honestly, I think in real life, like, you know, lots of people say like, oh, the reason you work is for, you know, for, for money or for this or something. But I think the reason that like people, you know, it's actually a, a, a story I heard recently that like, an 80 something year old man in the UK, uh, I think it was in the UK, uh, an 80 something year old man, 89 I think it was, uh, decided to go back into work because he was just like, uh, I'm just bored. And that's that's a really common phenomenon. Like people people retire because they're like, ah, oh, this is what I wanted my whole life. I just wanna I just wanna relax and do nothing. And then you realize that getting something done, it's like a cool feeling that might be overwhelmed by other feelings, but it's still a feeling you love. It's almost like a drug. Work is a, a drug in a way. And I that's that's always been one of those things that's like, yeah, and, and in a way, doing that for Minecraft is cool. When when you finish the thing, it just feels great, right? And uh, that's why today we're gonna be finishing a few things. Also, my M3 is now full. And we, we haven't even been mining solidly on the, you know, the Neverack. Like, I've been taking massive breaks. See, I'm just gonna grab a few more bits to get the XP going a bit higher. I know there's a gas there, so I'm gonna be a little bit cautious. <laughs> I say a little bit, probably a lot more than a little bit, but gotta be at least slightly curious as we get all of this. And because um, I've mentioned this before, but Never Quartz is one of the best source of XP because it spawns them often, uh, we should be able to get to level 30 pretty quickly, which means then I can get my looting pickaxe, which I need for the Wither, which I wanna fight a bunch of times. So yeah, uh, basically having the new enchantment system and the new uh, repair system, because it's so cheap to repair this pickaxe, and because now my Never is bigger, I think really like expanding the world has, has actually kind of helped out uh, when it comes to uh, when it comes to uh, like the whole, ooh, also by the way, uh, I, everything uh, like expanding the never has kind of helped out in a way, which is, is nice in a way. So I'm gonna get away from this wither skeleton who is now in the hole with me. Uh, um, <laughs> but yeah, um, I think I've said it before and I'll say it again, but I really like limited size worlds for very particular things. But I also think we need to get down from here. Ow, okay, I'm gonna die. Let's see. The ne never is a dangerous place, even when you're like convinced you're safe. You're, you're not actually. You just think you're safe. So yeah, we're gonna, I guess, replace this with food? Oh, wait, if... Wait, where did the... Did my water bucket get stuck on the other side because I threw it by accident? <laughs> I don't wanna... Okay, let's let's eat first. Oh, wait, wait, wait! Do you see that? The the bucket just came back from nowhere. It vanished, then it reappeared. That's, that's wonderful. Anyway, yeah, let's go back to... Um... Oh, that's interesting. Uh, let's go back uh, to one more place before we go back to the farm. So I'm going to put some stuff away because this is ridiculous. But then I want to show you where I get my obsidian from because, uh, again, I I've shown you now how I get the wood or how the trap doors and the, the ladders. Obviously, you get wood, you turn into that. I've shown you how I get the Neverack. I've got this amazing pickaxe. But I also want to show you where I get the uh, obsidian from because I've said I've said before that, like, uh, obsidian mining is one of those tasks that seems like it's super dull, but it's also, it's it, to me at least, it's really interesting to work with. It's like a really... 
It's the sort of block that once you get a cool pickaxe, again, I, really, I, I guess this whole episode is about how cool this pickaxe is, but, you know, it's one of those uh, things that just seems really bad until, um, you know, you get the cool pickaxe, and then you can do this amazingly hard task pretty quickly. But yeah, is this the chest? Yeah, it is. So let's throw it in there. Uh, I, I'm going to collect a lot more of that, because I, I want the XP and I want the quartz anyway. And uh, But first, let's go down and let's show you how I'm getting my obsidian right now. So, yeah, it's actually, it's still a slow process, even with all the amazingness of like, yep, we've got an efficiency five pickaxe, which, uh, back when I made this pickaxe, by the way, it was really tricky to make those. You had to combine two efficiency balls, I think, which, <laughs> very, very wasteful. Actually, that might still be the case. I think it might be. But yeah, um, horribly, horribly inefficient. Don't get me wrong. But, on the other hand, it's pretty cool. So after we kill that uh, baby zombie pigman, let me show you how I've been getting all the obsidian. Because it's actually a really, again, a satisfying process in the same way. Again, there, there are lots of tasks in Minecraft that seem awful, but they're really, really cool when you get them done. And I think turning a pool of lava into obsidian slowly is one of those. Because I'm just trying to dig through this giant ravine that's filled with lava. But as I'm doing so, as you're going to see right here, I'm actually slowly getting obsidian. Which is it's cool, because I'm getting rid of lava, and I'm getting the most valuable tool I need right now. Actually, I hope I'm getting it. I don't know if I have the space. Okay, I do. <laughs> and I'm getting one, one of the most valuable tools, which I really need at the same time. And it, it's cool that those two things kind of uh, combine together like that. So, yeah, let's just chop a few more of these. I think this is a bad place because there's lava behind it. So, pro tip if you're doing this, don't do it that way unless you can also do this next to it. And then after that, we can just remove this wall here, for instance. And uh, suddenly, the uh, the giant, like, strip thing, which I, I have no idea where this is going to end up, can keep on going, which is also a source of like diamonds and stuff so yeah obsidian mining but made very uh, i guess as fun as you can make obsidian mining like uh it is always going to be like a relatively slow endeavor but once you get an efficiency five pickaxe and once you're like you're destroying a pathway through something it feels really cool so i think i just lost obsidian because i was silly but <laughs> it feels really cool at least so yeah that's that's how i'm getting all the resources for this gold farm and uh, we're throwing it in there but yeah uh i like like i said uh Eng english is cool because the dictionary is like have like false words in there to check if other dictionaries were stealing their words. I don't know if I ever said the end part of that story, but yeah, just in case I did. There you go. And uh, it's actually happened a few times in maps as well. Uh, there's a field somewhere in the north of England, I forget what it's called, but there's a field in the north of England that doesn't exist, but every single map, and even Google Maps until very recently had the fake field on there because, uh, yeah, basically Google Maps maps, they, they don't map it themselves like that. You know, there's no dude at google who has a globe and he's like "Ooh, that exists there instead they just take you know they bought some mapping company but that mapping company had bought a mapping company which is just stolen uh you know someone else's map which is why there was a fake field there which is it's cool to me uh that like in the background you'll never notice it normally but it's like a good way to like solve a copyright dispute uh a lot of like you know these proprietary things that you know before like copyright laws were truly there or before they were like easier to enforce um it'd be as simple as like oh yeah let's just let's just falsify what we're doing I, imagine if my videos were fake in some way just to catch people who look up with them like oh did you guys know rotten flesh is the best food because it's orange and therefore i'm, I'm trying to work out a way orange food is good but <laughs> yeah that makes it the best like that that'd be kind of weird right but apparently that's the thing people did so let's move past the baby ocelots which are running very fast I wonder if I can outrun it. But yeah, let's move past the baby ocelots and go back to the gold farm, which now, because we've got a bunch of netherrack and uh, some more obsidian, we can make the cube bigger and we can also light a few more portals, which means when we get there, there'll be even more zombie pigments. So yeah, the one uh, the one kind of uh, variable of this that I haven't been able to probably work out yet, in case you're repeating this yourself or you're just curious, is uh, how far away from it you have to be for the pigment to spawn, because I rarely come back to it and see pigment here. So it clearly is like, you know, within the 64 block radius, but I just want to know how you stop them from despawning. So one, let me know in the comments down below if you're like, oh, it's okay. Yeah, if you have to stand at least 20 blocks away from them, because again, okay, one just spawned right there. Uh, let me know if you know the exact uh, like despawn radius, because it's it's I think it's 16 to 64 blocks. But then where's the best place to sand, in your opinion? Because again, I, I I know what the numbers should be, but it doesn't match up with how the behavior actually is. So again, if you if you know like, ah, well, it's, it's actually because of this, this and that glitch, I'd I love to know. But uh, otherwise, uh, again, just let me know about your calzone thoughts. Or, you know, if you, if you hadn't tried calzone last week, let me know if you've tried it in the meantime. Because again, it, it this this is one of those like great services you can do to yourself. Like just try some calzone. I'll, 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 I'll wait. It's it's good stuff, and uh, you won't regret it. At least I hope you won't. If you do, then well, that sucks, doesn't it? Uh, so yeah, we it wants to be. Oh, another drop. Another one dropped down there. But yeah, uh, basically, if we now like just a few more portals with these fourteen obsidian, which we should be able to do somewhat easily. So make a portal over there. Yeah, I guess we're gonna have to. Oh wait. So 
this is where we run into an issue, because I don't know if I have a ladder. Okay, I do have a ladder, so I can just... Yeah, that's entirely fine, I'll use that. So, now we can uh, turn this into portals, this into portals, etc. And we're gonna... In this episode, even though it's 20 minutes, we've increased our output of our gold farm by something like, you know, like... Let's, let's call it, like, 3%, which sounds small, but 3% of one of the most valuable resources in the game. It's uh, nothing to laugh at. I was going to say it's nothing to sneeze at, which I think is a, a common, like, British saying. But it is a pretty ridiculous one, because, like, you know, I, I don't sneeze at things that are ridiculous, personally. I mean, uh, or, like, sneeze at things that are pretty not good. Do you? If you do, then I guess the, the saying makes sense. But I don't think anyone really does. But, yeah, now once we, uh, we close all these trapdoors... Again, the, the logic being that, ah, the zombie pigment think it's a full block, which it kind of is, but it's also not. Uh, then they'll fall down onto the ladder here. I, I do the fall myself, but I really don't want to. Then they fall down onto the ladder, then they hit the ground, and it's all good. So, yeah, now we just have to walk through this thing again. Oh, one of my new portals spawned one. Oh, yeah, I, I think that's from one of the new portals. Uh, spawned one immediately, and now we can knock him down and show you. So, he should actually take less hits to kill, which is a... A useful little fact. Oh, if you're curious as why the ladders are there, it's so the ones from the higher blocks down will still fall onto the same ladders, not take full damage, and then uh, properly fall. So let's see if we can land this. <laughs> it's I really should just have a proper ladder so I don't have to make that thing over and over again. But I haven't done that yet. But yeah, if we do it like that, then it's only one hit to kill, which is a, a useful little thing. So I've got a baby zombie pigman, so there's like a whole F-cool uh, concern there. <laughs> but for now, um, that's a thing right there. So while we just wait here for a few seconds, and we'll, we'll go for on for a little bit, there's one more thing I did want to talk about, because again, on the subject of like, I want to be a better person every day than I was before, even if it's like, guess what? I I now, like, you know, I, I, I'm 1% smarter, I learned one new thing, or... That, you know, it slowly adds up over time or whatever. Um, one of the things... This is definitely being a lot faster than it was previously. Um, one of the things... Uh, oh, jeez. Uh, <laughs> not a baby. Um, one of the things that, um, like, uh, I, I realized, like, you know, even if I want to be, a, you know, a, 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 as good a human being as humanly possible, every now and then I catch myself in, like, the weirdest train of logic. Like, I generally held a grudge against Ling Linguini. Like, I was kind of, like, dispassionate towards it in the supermarket whenever I see it or something like that. I'm like, oh, Linguini. Just because once I, like, overcooked it and it burned my mouth, like, really hard. And I'm just like, that's a little ridiculous. So, you know what? My improvement to myself today is to uh, not hold a crunch against Liguini anymore. And uh, I know, just in case you ever think, like, ah, I'm I'm so bad at this, just remember, at least you didn't hold a grudge against Linguini the one time. Maybe that's maybe that's useful to you. Maybe it's not. Maybe maybe you just know that now if you're starting a dictionary company, which, for the record, probably a bad idea in 2016. I don't know how many people buy dictionaries, but if you start a dictionary company, at least you know how to protect it against thieves or something. Or maybe you don't know anything and you 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 know you don't know who this toy cat guy is that you've been watching for the last few minutes. Either way, I hope you did all enjoy the video. Like it if you did like it, share if you really liked it, and subscribe if you're new around here. I make videos like this one every single day on my channel, and if you subscribe, you'll see them daily on your homepage. Uh, between this episode and next, I'm gonna be doing a bunch of work on like just obsidian mining, put it on there, obsidian mining, put it on there. Uh, so expect to see like some I guess a lot of progress between now and then. But besides that, I hope you enjoyed the video because I'll see you all in the next one. So goodbye, everyone.